All right, we have breaking news. Hewlett Packard CEO Mark Hurd is stepping down, and the company saying uh, in its press release as a result of a sexual harassment investigation. So the CEO Mark Hurd stepping down from Hewlett Packard. Uh, he will be replaced uh, in the interim, at least, uh, by a CFO. The company also boosting its full year outlook. Uh, but you can see here in the after hours that is something that the investors seem to be overlooking right now. The shares down 1.74 uh, percent in the after hours trade, and they were already down just a little bit about uh, uh, one tenth of one percent uh, during the day so mark Hurd stepping down as ceo of hewlett packard this coming over uh this crossing really just after the bell about five minutes after the bell chris valerio standing by in our san francisco office with some details from the release chris Hey, Matt, that's right. Uh, looking through the release here, again, you said it yourself, the chairman resigning. Uh, the decision follows an investigation by an outside legal counsel. And actually, as I was going through, uh, not, it's about facts surrounding a sexual claim of sexual harassment, not only against uh, Heard, but also an HP former contractor. So this was an investigation done around two specific individuals from HP, uh, the chairman and an outside contractor. They did find a no violation of sexual harassment policy, but they did find a violation of regular business standards. And that we can assume is what was leading to the investigation, and that is what the press release is telling us. Interesting, again, to point out, uh, a search committee has already been formed to find the new CEO. One of the people on that search committee, Mark Andreessen, big name in the, in the Valley, of course, PayPal Mafia. Uh, a lot of people know that. So he's one of the individuals there that's going to be looking into finding who is going to take care of it. In the meantime, of course, the CFO, Kathy Lesjack, is going to uh, be the interim CEO. Now, she's been with Hewlett Packard for 24 years, knows the company, understands where it is. Um, remember, Remember, I just want to point this out, and this has probably nothing to do with it, but worth pointing out that just this week, Hewlett Packard settled that probe of uh, billions of, of false billings with the Department of Justice, only putting that out. Of course, that's going to said that it's going to trim earnings by two cents a share in the third quarter, pointing it out, of course, because of the legal aspect of it. So a lot of legal aspects that Hewlett Packard's having to deal with right now. Back to you. I just want to point out, well, you know, it looks like, I just want to point out here, it looks like the, the sexual harassment claims were made by an outside contractor, not necessarily a against an outside contractor. So it looks like uh, a contractor made sexual harassment claims against uh, HP and Mark Hurd. And from the uh, release, Mark Hurd says, uh, as the investigation progressed, I realized there were instances in which I did not live up to the standards and principles of trust, respect, and integrity. He also says, uh, this is a painful decision for me to make after five years at HP, uh, but I believe it would be difficult for me to continue as an effective leader at HP. You know, the question a lot of people would ask is, if there was a, an investigation carried out as to whether or not sexual harassment occurred and the investigators came up uh, saying no uh, there was no sexual harassment why then would the CEO step down especially someone like Mark Hurd Adam well, I'll tell you what, what you really have to do, at the end of the day, these are all questions, and it's tough to try to figure out some sort of answer to them. We don't know. We may never know. But I will tell you what we do know, and that is there are 20 buys on this stock, seven holds, zero sells. The average target is up at about 61 bucks. The stock, 45, 46. So the point is, it's trading right now at about 10 times earnings. Historically, that is very cheap. Over the past five years, this stock has tended to trade more like 15, 16 times. So you would expect analysts to come out on Monday morning once they've read through this and reiterate their positive view and describe this as a buying opportunity if the company can make the argument that there is continuity from one CEO to the next. And it looks like the choice of the interim provides that, at least for the time being. Well, and this is also, uh, you know, Lizzie, as you were mentioning, a company that is no stranger to scandals. To scandal. yeah, and, and very recently a scandal that erupted nationally. Uh, not to say that this one won't, uh, but it, they have had their shares of ups and downs, and you would think that they would be fairly resilient to maybe a lighter scandal, which is why I think it's so interesting that, uh, you know, if he was not found guilty of sexual harassment, that Mark Hurd would step down just because of breaking some standards well, of their business I think, practices. I think, we don't, I think we do not know. Let's, so let's, let's, let's not go there yet. Dom, let's throw you well, in the mix. Lizzie, I mean, remember, we were talking about conflicts, and we, we, we have these, like, you know, scandals and whatnot, but let's not forget these guys earlier on this year created or, or, or closed on a very high-profile acquisition, right? It was Palm. These guys bought Palm, and they're in the process of still trying to integrate that, that operation here. So this comes at a time when the company is trying to integrate a big operation. Now, arguably, Palm is not like a massive mega merger, but it is, it is still a part of the portfolio of products that they're looking to integrate, and this could be a hurdle for them, perhaps, you know, on the execution side of things, maybe going forward, to see whether or not a new management team can come in here and actually effectively integrate that whole Palm platform. So guys, there's a lot of stuff going on here. 
Well, and, and we're talking and, you know, about Chris, actually, some big names not, here, and, right? You know, yeah, well, some big names. And also, I was going to mention, it's not just the Palm Mobile aspect of it, but also remember that uh, earlier this year, they agreed on that, that agreement with Microsoft to develop their cloud computing. So they're really trying to take all these different directions in their business models, trying to get more market share, trying to maintain market share. Uh, so, you know, a lot of different areas that they're getting into. And, of course, right now, they have uh, someone that's been there, the CFO, for 24 years. It's going to take over as the interim. But now she's taken herself out of the running to become the CEO, which was, had been talked about before. So it's going to be interesting to see who these people actually choose. Choose, uh, Mark Andreessen, the board, chooses to replace him. It'll definitely be some interesting uh, uh, footwork there for Hewlett Packard, for the shareholders of Hewlett Packard. Let me just reiterate again uh, the, the news and the share price. I mean, here you see after hours uh, Hewlett Packard coming down. This is because Mark Hurd uh, has stepped down as the CEO of Hewlett Packard after a sexual harassment investigation. Uh, he will be replaced in the interim by the CFO. Uh, and there you see the share price down in the after hours. Now, year to date, uh, the shares are down 90 percent. Uh, sorry, 10 percent. 90 percent be rough. They have yeah. hold, held 90% of their value year to date, so they're off uh, about 10%. If you take a look over the last 12 months, uh, the shares are, are, are up about 10%, but in either case, they are underperforming the S&P wildly, and of course, they have had a series of scandals already at Hewlett Packard, uh, so this is one that just adds to it. The company also saying that they are boosting their forecasts in this press release, but that could be a part of the release, I guess, you to be excused for almost completely overlooking. Uh, so there you go. Some some breaking news uh, after the bell, as, as our last guest said, breaking news uh, after the bell on a it's Friday. Never good. It's is, sort of like in, in my world, news. you get a press release from the White House around around five, six o'clock on a Friday afternoon, particularly in the summer. That's not good. It's not good. They want you to uh, mull it over and hopefully maybe forget about, forget it, about it by Monday.